Hello, Leo. Thank you so much for joining me again, and I hope all of you guys are doing well. All right, Leo. So this week from Lee Vampire, you pulled reason. Listen to advice, think clearly, and intellect. And then from Chakra Wisdom, you pulled balance. Now, I think for some of you, you may have some advice coming through on how to help get what you want. But with balance, though, you know, the big thing here is chasing illusions, right? Being careful about being deceived by your own desires. Are you making fair and balanced choices for yourself, right? Now, reason is talking about accepting excellent advice, but it's also about clearing your mind and thinking practically and realistically about how to work through a dilemma. But then with balance, you know, it's all about trying to obtain something that you want. But, you know, again, it, are you running towards something that's an illusion, right? Now, balance, the card at a glance says that this card may indicate a reluctance to change. You may be hesitating because of the past, but that doesn't mean you should be hasty. Weigh all sides before moving forward. This can mean the start of a relationship proceeds slowly, but really, you know, this is about you chasing illusions and compulsive behavior. All right, Leo, here we go. Here's your overall for the week, the three of wands. I think that, you know, more so than you seeing things go as planned, I think you're hoping that it will, but then I also feel like you're waiting, like you're waiting to see how things are going to work out before you, you know, work on any more plans. When you're looking at the three of wands, you have the two of wands planted. So that means that you've acted on the plans that you've made. You're holding that third wand. So you're watching how it's developing. You're looking at the long term. You know, it's watching your plans take shape here. But I feel more so like you're hoping that everything works out. I don't know. Now, in the past, the Nine of Wands is something you're not willing to give up on. Uh, the Nine of Wands is the past coming through. can be talking about, you know, you've been put through it here. You've been put through the battle. You still got the wall up but you're not ready to give up, right? There's persistence here, but yet you're still on guard. You know, I don't so much feel like you're worried about having to go through another battle. I just think that, you know, you've already been through it. Whatever difficulties you've had to face, you've made it through it, basically. But there's something, I mean, the one, the one, that Ace of Wands, right? It's something that you're not willing to give up on just yet. Now, in the present, the past, the Six of Cups in the present, you know, one of the things that I say about this card is when you're looking at the past, the whole point is to look at joyful memories, right? Because whatever you're reviewing in the past is what you're going to bring into the present moment, and that is what is going to create tomorrow. So you have to be careful about what you're pulling into the present moment. Some of you may just be feeling nostalgic and looking back at the past, but when you look at your past, the Nine of Wands is saying that there's something that was like really fought for and you're just not wanting to give up. Like whatever it takes, whatever it takes to get this, you know. Some of you are looking back at the past and maybe thinking that, you know, this wasn't the way to go about things, right? Or it was unnecessary, you know, the Six of Cups, though, being in the present, it could suggest that something from the past is coming through now. But the Nine of Wands is involved in this. Right? Now, this could be a person, right? It could be, you know, a job looking at the wand energy going on with the Three of Wands being front and center. But whatever it is, it's connected to you needing to fight for it. Right? Oh, boy. <laughs> Future conditions, the King of Wands, you look good. You look good. Now, the King of Wands, definitely for some of you, when we're talking about people from the past coming back through, you could be talking about another fire sign. But as far as the energy surrounding you, and you, you know, hoping that everything goes as planned, waiting to see how things are going to develop with the Three of Wands here, it's really about, you know, being wise about where your passions are leading you. You know, the Kings, it's where wisdom starts to come into play here. Very passionate person, though. Usually when I see him, especially when I'm doing personal readings, if this is another person, 
the the description of him suggests that this is somebody that you're very attracted to, right? The man of passion. But I do think that this is going to be the energy surrounding a lot of you. But, you know, again, I, I, I feel both. Like, I feel both. I feel like there's somebody from the past that you're focused on in future conditions that, you know, there is a passionate connection to that you may be very attracted to. They may have, like, you know, this amazing energy that you just can't let go of, right? We'll see how this King of Wands is playing out. Oh, shit. Your best path to follow. Listen. If there was a really difficult ending, possibly with a person here from the past, you've got to let it go. Like you've got to let it go. Right. And then not only that, but if we're talking about you and what you're working toward here, if things, you know, didn't work out before, you got to let it go. Like you have to get up now. Right. The Ten of Swords is the painful ending. Things not going well. Things, you know, falling apart, hitting rock bottom. But here, it's about pushing off, pushing off the bottom here and getting back to mental clarity. Whatever it was that ended painfully, you got to let it go. Especially if, you know, you're hoping to see something different happen here, you know. Wow. In your environment, the Eight of Wands, the fire energy, man. All right. The Eight of Wands being in your environment, you can definitely be com communicating with somebody from the past, possibly with the Eight of Wands. You know, this is you watching things kind of like fall into place. The other thing, though, too, is it's a fast situation. You know, when you're talking about communication, fast communication, it's, you know, texting and email, things like that. But it's also about you needing to act in the moment, right? And then for some of you, a situation is happening quickly. Like this is quickly coming about for you. You know, I, and I, I'm still looking back at that nine of wands going, you didn't want to give up on this. But something happened somewhere where there was an ending and it may have been painful for you or the other person here. But you may be, you know, opening up communication. Travel is also a part of this too. Traveling to see somebody. But, you know, again, in terms of the King of Wands, I feel both. Like, I feel like we're talking about somebody that, you know, we have an attraction to. But then also in terms of you, right? Being wise and being smart now about where your passions are leading you. You know, but there's also that confidence there with the King of Wands and yet with Leo, yeah. Yeah. Your hopes and your fears, and you know, it makes sense, especially if you have something from the past coming back through. Judgment. Judgment is about going through the review. It's about making amends with the past, you know, and going through that rebirth, making amends with who you were in the past, being okay with the past and moving forward. It's also the call to action, right? Can you, though? is the question because of the Ten of Swords being your, as your best path to follow. Can you be okay with what happened in the past? Can we resurrect a situation that may have ended really badly, right? You know, and for some of you with judgment, it, it's really just about you being able to move on from it. You know, rebirth, right? And then coming out of this, the Nine of Swords, you're still ready to fight. You're still ready to fight. You're not wanting to give up on this. We're, we're right back to where we started here. You know, and, and again, with the Six of Cups looking back at the past, you know, you've been put through it. You're not willing to give up. The Knight of Swords is ready to go, ready to go into battle. Now, you know, and it's funny because looking at balance, again, acting hasty, being too quick to act. You know, the Knight of Swords is one of those knights where he's ready to go into battle, but there may not be anything to fight for, you know. And again, going back to the Ten of Swords, it may be a situation that's just completely over with and there needs to be acceptance. All right, so now with the Two of Swords, you're looking at a situation here where we're either ignoring what's going on and not wanting to make a decision or you're needing to make a difficult decision, which could cause pain for somebody else. 
right? Possibly. Now, with the Ace of Pentacles, though, it's all about you having a new realistic practical beginning, something that has the potential to be long lasting. That's what I like about the Ace of Pentacles versus like the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is great, you know, especially for water signs. We're loving that shit. But for you with the Ace of Pentacles, it, it really is about what is practical, what is real. And the potential there, again, you know, talks about sustainability, something that's not going to fizzle out on you, right? But you're still carrying a bunch of fucking burdens. You can't get back to the one. It's funny because you're not wanting to give up on it. But the one, the one, the one passion, the one spark that lit you off in the first place. It's like you can't get back to it. Whatever it is that you're carrying, you need to drop that shit. There is no point in overwhelming yourself with a bunch of bullshit, right? And getting to that new beginning should not be a, an uphill battle. And again, with judgment being there, we need to drop this shit and we need to just be okay with it and then move forward. Wow, Leo. You know, I, I still feel like for some of you, it's going to have to do with a person here. And then flourish. Wow. If you take action, you will flourish. And it all has to do with the heart chakra. Your heart chakra, really, it's about living from your heart, right? So important, especially when it comes to the things that you're not willing to give up on, right? This is about love, relationships, compassion, forgiveness, right? The only thing that ever blocks it is grief. But, you know, I don't... You know, and that may be where the Ten of Swords is coming through, right? Like we need to just let go of the fact that, you know, this may have ended painfully in the past, but it's coming back and it may be coming back quickly and you're going to have to act on this, but you need to do it from a place where, you know, you have that love, that love for it, right? Whether this is a person, you know, a job, or whatever it is, right? It has the potential though to flourish if you act on it. But be careful about how you're acting on it because the Ten of Wands is just saying you're carrying a bunch of shit on you that you don't need to be. You know, I mean, the cycle has to complete, right? If you're wanting to get back to that, you know, all of that needs to be let go of. And that may have to do with the other person, though, too. If we're talking about somebody else you're dealing with, there may be shit that they're carrying that they need to let go of, you know, because it's all about going back to the one. All right, let's take a look at Whispers of Love to see what messages there are for you guys in terms of relationships and attracting love in your life. And then spend some quality time together. Mm, okay, so it is important that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with, listening and talking to each other. So there's somebody that you need to spend some time with. But, you know, Leo, the big thing here is you're not willing to give up on something. You're not willing to give up the fight for something, even, even if it ended badly. It doesn't matter because if it's coming back around for you, it's like you need to act on this. That's the only way that, you know, the situation can flourish, right? But again, with judgment being there, I really feel like we need to just make amends with the past and move forward. That is what you're hoping for. It is about a rebirth for you for sure. But I do think that we are talking about another person too. And they may be the one that needs to be okay with what happened in the past and drop the burdens. All right, Leo. So, you know, I like the fact that the three of wands is here, but I really think that, you know, things are not happening. They're, they're just not happening. And a lot of that is based on someone's inability to take action. Now, when you come into this though, with the nine of wands, this is not something that you want to give up on, right? You fought for this, but it's like, you can't get back to the one and it's either you or the other person here. That's not making the choice to do this. But I do think that for some of you, there is something from the past that's coming back and it may be coming back quickly. And you may be doing some communicating here, possibly with a person. Now, I think this is both. I think it speaks to you and needing to be wise about the decisions that you make, especially in regards to your passions. But I think it's because there is a person that there's passion for, right? Like I've always felt that way when I see the King of Wands, the man of passion. Now, again, you know, I really do think though with these two, the word resurrection was what came up. Something may have ended really badly 
And with judgment, again, making amends with the past and moving forward and starting anew. But really, you know, can you make amends with what happened? And is that why there is an inability to act? And I think that coming out of this, you or the other person here is being a little bit too hasty. You know, we're still ready to fight. We're still ready to go after this. But somebody is not willing to make the choice here to start this new beginning. And instead, they're carrying all these burdens that need to be let go of. You know, but looking at the soul trees, right? If you're coming from a place where there is love in your heart, right? With the heart center. And if you take action, there's no reason why, you know, you can't have this situation flourish, right? That's what I feel like looking at this. Now, realizing that love is all around you may help, but then also there's somebody you need to spend some quality time with. But I think that the problem coming out of this is whether or not somebody is willing to make the tough choice to do this. And again, the Ten of Wands is suggesting that, you know, it could be that if you or the other person make the decision to do this, there may be a lot of burdens that are coming along with the situation and now choosing to act. And maybe nobody has thought about this, you know, again, with the Knight of Swords. But I, I action, the action that you take in regards to this is going to be what's most important. But, you know, damn it, drop the burdens. There's no point in carrying that because that Ace of Pentacles is there. You can get back to the one. 